Greetings, everyone. Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And in this week's episode, we're talking Pelican coolers. Now, that is a Pelican Elite 20-quart cooler, and this thing's been awesome. But I'm going to get inside. We just got off the water. It was crazy. Had some really weird weather. But, guys, we're going to tell you all about it. So if you're in the market for a cooler like this or love kayak fishing, stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. So as I said, uh, today we were out on the water. We got caught in a rainstorm. We got caught with some massive winds. It was just one of the, not the best day to be on the water, but it was still better than, you know, not being on the water. So get to get wet, get to cool off, have a good time, make some new memories, even when they're bad and they're scary. But it's awesome. Now, this is the Pelican Elite 20 quart cooler. I'm going to get up close. I'm going to put it on the tripod so I can talk to you about this thing. And I'm going to tell you all about this incredible thing. So, thanks. All right, so as you saw, today we were out on the water, been done fishing, and had a great day. Uh, got blown around with the wind, got caught up in some rain. Just a crazy day, crazy day. Now, the thing I like most about this cooler, well, one thing I like, is that this thing, this is a sub safe. This thing fits. Put my sandwiches together, put these two pieces together, and it drops down in here. But yet, you still have a lot of room for a lot of other stuff. I just happened to have this in here when I was cleaning it a few minutes ago. Um, I like this cooler. This cooler, unlike most coolers that are in this category, it's tall and narrower, which makes it where if you're in a car and you don't have a huge amount of storage space, this is going to be good. You can stick this between two people in the back seat. You know, big 20 quarts like the Yeti and stuff like that, those take up a lot of room. Um, I love my Yetis. They've been great. But this Pelican has been awesome. I've been nothing but impressed with the results from this cooler. It works great. Things I like most about this, the lid, the way the lid's done up, you got a couple plate, you got four cup holders here, you got a nice flat spot here. So if you like me today, I was eating my lunch, set my sandwich on top, I can set a cup on top, um, whether it's one of those, um, those stainless steel cups, it's got a place to sit flat, you can drink your coffee, if you're drinking out of a coffee mug, whatever you're doing, it's not gonna, it's, it's flat and it's easy. And I like the fact that it's, it's not a, situation where you're worried about it just you know your stuff just falling over uh, the lid and all the plastic is all very well done i love this handle this handle's got this like rubberized finish on this part and a really robust plastic handle here and not metal one thing you're going to notice by not having all that added metal is it's lighter weight 12 and a half pound weight that's it that's awesome uh, this cooler it does have a nice little gasket going around here, but it does have a space. So do not lay this cooler down or it will leak out in your car. Um, I found that out just when it tipped over, when I laid it on the back of my truck and it laid over and it spilled. It has tie off points here, here, and on the other side, the same place, which allow you to tie it down if you wanna strap it down in the back of your truck. Very well done. The latches, the latches are the star of this show. Uh, the latches allow you just to you flip them up, latched boom push them in pull up push them up pull up and they have enough resistance where they stay up where once they're out of your way you flip them up they're not going to just fold down so a lot of them you can't shut them because the latches catch that's not the case with this very nicely done i love the color scheme the red white and blue what's not to love you know um inside it has three different dividers now mine didn't come with any dividers but i you can honestly make those out of cutting board material, anything like that. We might just do that ourselves. Lots of different options when it comes to things like that. But the thing I like about the inside, let's talk about the inside dimension. Inside dimensions are 12 inches by 6.7 inches by 14 inches, which makes it where if you're like me and you want to grab a gallon of sweet tea or lemonade or whatever, boom, it's going to drop down in here. And you can't do that with my Yeti. It will not go all the way down in there. Not if there's any ice at all underneath it, it hits the lid. This drops down in there, still has room for the ice on top, holds 15 cans and some ice or a 20 pound bag of ice on its own. Just like that. Awesome. Does come with a Pelican amazing lifetime warranty. Has a built-in bottle opener here. Like I said, the four tie-off points, four cup holders, and we have some footing. These little footings keep it from sliding around 
the back of your truck. This thing, if you're like me, I run around with my little Linex F-150. This stuff right here, these things keep it from sliding around and just banging around and making a, making a lot of noise and just being messy. Um, they also aren't going to scratch up your truck or your bed of your truck or anything like that and make a mess. This cooler does have a lock port, so if you wanted to drop a deadbolt through uh, one of those big padlocks through here that are designed to keep a bear, a bear out, I don't know if this thing's considered bear proof. It's got these great hinges. These hinges right here are great. Uh, they are replaceable, but the way this is, I've been impressed with, is the way it's plas the plastic is done and the way the pins are done in there, really well done. I don't see them wearing out like a lot of these other coolers I've tested. Now I can say that because I have a lot of coolers. I've tested a lot of coolers and I own a lot of coolers and they all have different purposes and all shine in different aspects. And this one right here shines at being tall and skinny, which works out great because that's exactly what I am. Uh, like I said, I can stick this on the back of my kayak, run it behind my crate, and I can still have access to everything I need for a long day trip or if I'm, my family's going on a trip and we're gonna spend the day on the water, this can go on my cool, my kayak instead of having to pull it behind on someone else's. I like that. I like having access. This cooler, I think if you're in the market for a cooler along those lines, this thing's definitely a great choice. Hopefully, if you need one, go over and check out Pelican. I'll put a link to their stuff, and I will do some more demonstrations of it on the water and show you exactly how it does. I'm not planning on doing a retention test with the ice, but for me, I can put ice in this and go to work all week and have the ice in the cooler all week long. Um, I can put ice in there on Monday, fill it up with ice and put some bottled water and stuff like that down in there so I don't have to stop at a store or anything like that whenever I'm thirsty. And it makes it where by the end of the week, when I dumped this out, and this was Saturday. So Saturday, we we're out on the water, been out on the water all day. There was still enough ice to keep everything in there cold all day long. Then I had one of my Powerades opened up and turned everything in here blue. So had to rinse that out. Glad I did. But man, I am nothing but happy with this cooler. So go over and check them out. I'll put a link to Pelican. But you can pick these up at Academy and Dick's, places like that, and go for it. I think if you're definitely looking for one, it does have a $200 price tag, but honestly, when it comes to the pros and cons of this cooler, there's a, not, people wanna say that if you compare it to the Ozark ones, that the Ozark ones are just as good. They're not. They do the job, but they don't do it as well. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the products they're using, the plastics they're using, the foams they're using that make up the insulation, but things like that just, you get what you pay for when it comes to certain things and coolers are definitely that so all right so if you're like us and you love getting outdoors coolers like this just come in so so very handy uh being able to pick them up at places like academy or dicks is just a huge plus but this pelican k uh cooler has been awesome they're pelican cases uh for a tactical they're used by the military I mean, these things are just really well done. The polypropylene that they use is just a really rugged, really durable plastic. And I love the fact that, like I said, this one's just a little different. It's tall and skinny. Makes it where if you're running around, whether you're in our little Altima, uh, something small, or if I'm throwing it in the back of my truck or even in the back of my kayak, this thing's going to get the job done. So go over and check out Pelican. They make some great products. And guys, thank you so much for our, your, all your support. Uh, we just broke the 6,000 subscriber mark and we are rocketing towards seven. And we are only doing it because of you. Your support, watching our videos, sharing them with your friends and family and supporting us on social media. We thank each and every one of you. Hope you have a great week and make sure you take time this week to get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless guys. We'll see you soon.